Hey guys, today we are going to go over the steps required to download your SRTM data directly into your QGIS session. The first step is to load a base map in the background. I'm going to reach for OpenStreetMap, grab it as a background, and then I already stored my area of interest, which is the Toshka area in Egypt, Toshka Lakes. The second step is to go to the plugins, manage and install plugins, and then search for the SRTM downloader, and then install the plugin. Now I would like to download SRTM data covering this area of interest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to plugins menu and then I'm going to click on SRTM downloader which has been added as a result of the plugin installation. And then I'm going to pick SRTM downloader dialog box. The dialog box shows some text input boxes, north, west, south and east. These are the text input boxes where you should put the, the lat long of your area of interest. Or, since we have already defined area of interest by using the spatial bookmark, you can just set these numbers to the canvas extent. So you click set canvas extent and it will pick up the coordinates, the proper coordinates for you. And then you need to determine the output path where you are going to download your data. So I'm going to Right, media D and temp. And then you click download. Now, uh, the first time you use this application, it's going to ask you for a username and password. If you don't have a username name or password uh, in the site, on the NASA site, you need to go there and register and you can just click on that link and um, it will take you there. Once I input my username and password, it will quickly grab all the SRTM data for me covering the area of extent. So now that the download is complete, I'm going to click OK. Now, because I have left the checkbox checked for load images to QGIS, I should find these loaded in the table of contents. And they are loaded. And if I zoom out a little, my area of interest has been loaded. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to merge all these files into one file. So I'm going to go to raster, miscellaneous, and merge. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the ellipses here and I'm going to select all except, of course, the open street map. And then I'm going to change the output data type into integer 16. And the other thing that I'm going to change is I'm going to change the assigned specified no data value to output to the value of minus 9999. And I can uh, choose to save the output merged file into a temporary file, saved just in memory, or I can uh, give it a name. So I'm going to choose to leave it as a memory temporary file. So I'm going to click Run. And here you go. You have one single uh, file instead of four different files. So first off, I'm going to remove the four files. These are the HG, HGT downloaded files from SRTM. You look at the merged file here and you see that small icon that shows that this is only a temporary file, a temporary layer. So it's not stored. If you close the project right now, even if you save the project, the layer is gone. So you have to save it. So I'm going to save it export save as uh, I pick the format GeoTIFF is fine with me I'm going to store it at the same place so it's media D 
camp and the file name will call it Toshka ptm 30 as this one is 30 meter resolution now this is very important you can reproject it while saving it so I'm going to choose uh, a metric a projection system instead of uh, the, the geographic coordinate system I'm going to use a metric system so uh, a projected system that is so this is the one that I'm choosing it's a WGS 84 UTM zone 36 north and um, the other thing is I'm going to change the pixel size to 30 meters by 30 meters and I'm going to add a no data value again minus 9999 and I'm going to uh, click OK now this is my 30 meter resolution digital terrain model for Toshka. I can go further and, and uh, color it. So I can either click on the properties and color it from there, or I can just click the style button here. And I can choose single band pseudo color. I can go to ramp and I can choose either one of these ramps, or I can say create new color ramp and choose catalog cpt dash city okay and then i can go to topography and i can either pick elevation or maybe pick uh, this palette okay and classify and this is how it looks i can even go further so i'm going to uh, actually i'm going to delete the temp layer remove layer and then i'm going to duplicate this layer so i'm going to duplicate it i'm going to actually uh, switch on both of them go uh, change it to hill shade use a blend multiply I'm going to rename this one to DTM and this one to Hillshade here you go. So now you have your uh, digital terrain model and it's even rendered and all in like five minutes. And you don't have to go to uh, websites. That's all what I wanted to tell you this time. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.